the main show of URCC 22 Decada. As we now call in our Warriors, beginning with... From the King of the Cage, welcome, Lowens Tinanes. Lowens Tinanes, guys, guys, guys. Lowen. Lowen. Yeah. You know, the problem with, I mean, the, the thing, the, the challenge that uh, Lowen po uh, posts for Edward is that he is a high level wrestler. This guy's probably Agreed. the the best wrestler we've seen in the 10 years that URCC has been here. He's a two-time national high school wrestler, All-American, two-time Hawaii high school state wrestling champion. And Pole Am has he's fought all the best strikers, but he has not fought a real good wrestler. That's true, I agree. And this has got to be, again, one of the, um, this could be one of Edward's Toughest fight. Definitely. Toughest uh, you said it you say it time and time again, Bubs. URCC does not give tomato cans. We do not for sure. We do not we do not give uh, freebies to our URCC champs. You wanna keep that buck, you gotta earn it. You defend it against the best. Lowen just might be one of the best out there. One of the best to challenge him. I agree. You know he's the king of the gate fighter. Incidentally, King of the King of the Cage fighter um, founder is here, Mr. Terry Treblecock. Wow. He's flown straight from Hawaii right. to grace um, the URCC and would like to welcome him to the Philippines. I already he's been having a lot of fun. <laughs> Lowen is incredibly young, only 20 years old. 20. I wow. can't believe I'm a year older than him and he looks like that. Maybe I haven't hit puberty yet. I mean, <laughs> you, know, you, other, uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, Edward may be six years belt. older, but he's peaking. Up. He's peaking. We call he's in he's his opponent. Right now. The crowd's favorite. Bumble up high. MMA. Edward Polo. Yeah. Representing the Philippines, our very own Edward the Landslide Polaya. He has a world MMA record of 12 wins and 2 losses. Um, he's a good striker, very good gas, quick and powerful leg kick, excellent conditioning. He's a very, he's a well-decorated international MMA fighter. He's yep. fought in Gua, uh, he's fought in Saipan, fought in Singapore, and um, he's fought the best, you know, here in Asia. And he's actually number number six lightweight um, fighter outside of the big league. Right. Outside very, of the UFC, he's, very, he's um, well, uh, ranked Edward number is, six. He's, he's clawing his way to the top right now, you know what I mean? Definitely. He's, he, he's on a roll, he's been doing very well his last few fights. Um, but I'm sure his mind is 100% on this fight. I this, definitely agree. Uh, Edward Blair, He's an amazing striker, you know. In the past, we know that you know his hands aren't always the most accurate, but his kicks are amazing. Yes. Very heavy kicks. Problem with that is you can't kick carelessly against a wrestler. That's gonna pose a problem. He's gonna be forced to go to his hands, work that wrestling defense, and we'll see. You no, know, I've. I, I, I've seen Paul and Grapple, he's actually worked with the Death Tat guys. Yeah, and he, he actually he, has, you know, some pretty good, de de decent yeah. takedowns good, good, as well. Pretty good takedowns. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, you've stayed up late enough for this. And we have come to the main event of the evening. As I introduce our fighters, beginning with the fighter on my left. In the blue corner, weighing in at 180 pounds with the URCC record of three wins and no loss. From the King of the Cage team, welcome, Lewis Tinanis! Lewis Tinanis from, He's, from you know, Hawaii. This kid is so corner, confident. We get another 155 pounds. 
with a URCC record of 12 wins and two losses from Lakai MMA. This is Edward the Landslide Foley! I gotta say, our announcer, Boyetsi Sun, makes up for a very entertaining ring announcer. Man with always, the golden yeah, voice. Yeah, he always sets the mood. He our never fails to is impress is us. Irish Tiozon and our like third saying, man in the ring. Robots. The one, the only, Joey Lepita. This well, is for the super fight at 155 pounds. Yeah, Lowen, he's... I, I went in the dugout today earlier before the fights, and he's just such a calm guy. He's confident, you know. Sometimes confidence can work towards... Uh, Exactly, and you know, it could also work against It'll you. It'll work for you, you work against know. you. We'll see he's how young. he deals with it. He's, he's young. young, he could be cocky, but you know, he ha he can back it up. And at the same time, he's young, he, he he's fearless. Yes. And nothing is but more dangerous than a fearless fighter exactly. sometimes. Exactly, sometimes though, you you know, a young fighter can be careless. Full out in the red, uh, sh shorts with the Team Lakai on it. And uh, um, Painanis with a... I neon, neon yeah. shorts. Neon and black shorts. Oh, there's that. Gri there's that. There's. Of course, Tynanis will go double for under. The Th watch how this guy switches, uh, changes levels. When I say change levels, he'll go from high, start attacking the legs for a takedown. From the take, from going to legs, maybe he'll go back up to the body. Watch, watch. Look at the amount of pressure he's wow. imposing on you know, Edward. Edward's doing a good job though. There, there's that change level I was talking about. He goes down, Folang doing a good job. Like, so he basically he's trying to... There's that oh, takedown. Wow. Very good left. Did you see that? Wow. See that switch? That uh, knee tap? That's high level wrestling, Bubs. That's all American wrestling. Folang needs to get out of here. The question is, does he have good submissions? You know, I mean, yeah, the thing in about, wrestling, there's no submission. The thing about wrestlers is, you don't necessarily need good submission because they can keep you down. That's true. So and, and, and then he'll basically break him down. Break him down, yeah. elbows, punches. I hope, I hope, well, as a Pinoy, of course. Oh, Christ. Folang is no such a good back switch. He's already got one hook in. Wow. High level technique. High level technique. Like High level grappling, you know. And that's always been uh, for, uh, for Lan's criticism, you know. They say they've said the times I mean he's a great uh, striker, good fighter, has great hands, great great kicks. But his wrestling, his jujitsu, that's it's gonna be tested tonight. Wow, he's got the back already, Bubs. He's got a good over under control here. Lowen is a bit high though. Yes. He's high. He's going for, I think he's trying to attack the Kimura there. No, no. Notice that, uh, notice Lowen's uh, right leg and how it's hooked onto that leg to prevent him from falling off. Yeah. He's still, he's still, still a little bit He's a bit high. high, but you know, he knows how to, he knows how to fight from there. He knows how to fight from there. I'd like to see him go lower though. Yeah. He's long. Look how big he, he is. He is, you know. He's I mean, long. His, his legs are just wrapped around. Right. You know, Edward like. And just the, the, the length of his torso. Is like it's nothing. Edward needs to get out of this. The crowd cheering, egging their uh, another hometown hero, another Filipino fighter on. Doesn't look good for Edward though. Doesn't. Um, he needs to get out of this 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 position. It's not good for him. I'd like to see Lowen flatten him out. He's already gone in the back, you know. Maybe uh, adjust to where his chest is on, uh, is attached to yeah. Edward's back, and then flatten him out. Oh, oh, big punch snuck in there. That pretty much woke up Edward. Yeah, yeah. Hey, bud, you're still in a fight. So he's got a halfback. He's got a halfback right now, but he doesn't have the seatbelt. It's hard to do a halfback without a seatbelt. 